Hi, so today I'm with Rias, again, as you remember from last time, and uh, today we're going to talk about what, Rias? Today we're going to talk about installing SharePoint on a Windows 2012 server. Okay, so last um, time we looked at setting up just Windows 2012, yes. and today it's SharePoint Preview, right? 2013, yes. not just yes. any SharePoint. <laughs> it's SharePoint 2013 <laughs> preview. Okay. And uh, what we're also going to do is we'll probably do another webcast where we install it as a part of the farm and, you know, uh, separate SQL Server installation and things like that. But today we're just going to do the Express install, uh, which installs SQL Server uh, as a part of the SharePoint 2013 installation. Kind of like a dev VM, right? Yeah. Something yeah. simple, not yeah. your production system. Yeah, yeah. not your production yeah. system. Well, you shouldn't be using 2010 pre uh, 2013 preview for production anyways. But, uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's take a look at it. All right, so um, I've mounted um, the ISO for uh, SharePoint 2013 on mm -hmm. my DVD drive. So we're going to launch the, the installer from there. Uh, the installer looks pretty much similar to um, the SharePoint Server 2010 installer, mm -hmm. like, you know, even with the colors and everything. Yeah. Um, you go with the standard for an installation, you yeah. would first install the prerequisite, which basically installs, um, you know, sets the mode of the server to an application server. If a web server is not installed, it, it sets the role to a web server as well, installs IIS, okay. uh, .NET uh, framework gets installed. Um, okay. So all that um, is a part of the prerequisite, uh, including SQL Server 2008 R2 is what is packaged with um, uh -huh. with the installer. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do the installation of the prerequisites. Yeah. Now you said that that's uh, that's kind of that's pretty a pretty quick process. Yes. Uh, and you tried it earlier. Any any gotchas that you found during this prerequisites install? Um, no, no, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. It goes through smooth. And, no um, issues. Like um, I heard some people online said, "Oh, there's some issues when you do." I, mean, I don't know what configuration that used, but have anything that came up when you were doing? Not that? with the Express install. Okay. okay. So we'll to, we'll get into um, doing you know um, a standard install. If you want to have a dev server which uses like you know multiple people using the same server, then you want to do uh, an independent. Uh, SharePoint installation, in which case you want to install an independent SQL. Right. Uh, we might have to look into like you know what's involved there, but right. uh, Express install was pretty quick and straightforward. So that's Express install. That doesn't mean SQL Express, right? Or does um, it? I think it does install SQL, SQL Express, Express as okay. a part of it because it's okay. free and because there's no licensing involved when you install the prerequisites. Um, right. So it will auto detect if you don't have SQL. Okay, will... that's what it's gonna. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, so and uh, so so that's automatically recognizes um, 2012 server. Right. Would you run the same package in 2008 server? Yeah, yeah, it's the same yeah. package. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. so it automatically recognizes what. Is, has there anything changed from the framework uh, standpoint? Like um, uses .NET um, 4.5. The new SharePoint 2013. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. okay, that's good to know. Yes. Um, and um, also, I was actually surprised that it installs uh, Windows, uh, actually SQL Server 2008. Yeah, uh, I was I was expecting it to install SQL Server 2012. And that's um, a released product. Isn't it, it? it is. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it was it was really surprising. In fact, it's in the SP1 phase, right? So SP1 mm -hmm. is a release candidate right now for um, you know. SQL Server 2012. Oh wow! Yeah, that's strange. Um, yeah. So but I guess you yeah. know, it's, uh, I guess for definitely we can expect that for for yeah for RC of SharePoint. But it does say you know SQL Server 2008 and higher, but yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. It doesn't come packaged with 2012. Yeah. You have to install 2012. You could probably imagine that when they were repackaging this installation, yeah. right? They repackaged the binaries for 2013 SharePoint. Right. That's why the picture looks exactly the right. same. Right. But prerequisites, uh, like you've played with SharePoint 2013, right? And I'm, we're okay. going to have a separate yes. video for that. Yes. Um, Okay, so here's some restart, right? Or is yes, that? yeah. So we just need to do oh, a okay. quick okay, reboot. Perfect. Um, the system will do it. So while it's coming back, so uh, one thing that you played with 2013 a little bit, right, in the preview mm -hmm. stage, was there anything like, well, I'm sure we'll have another video on it, but was there anything significantly groundbreaking? Well, um, 
I wouldn't say it it took me by surprise or you know anything that is like you know totally different other than of yeah. course like they repackaged uh, uh, all your document libraries yeah. and everything yeah. as an app uh, that needs right. to be added to your site collection right uh, but other than that um, like nothing that took me as a surprise saying oh wow right like you know something totally different, different like yeah. something is like you know just like between SharePoint 2007 and 2010 right um, I think 2010 laid most of the framework and now they're just building on those features right. and completing those um, but between 2007 and 2010 there were features like you know um, taxonomy and taxonomy right. that was introduced like you know a lot of features yeah. that were very different right right uh, versus like you know in so this hence, version I guess hence the installation package is pretty straightforward right you know right. in terms of yeah the UI has updated, but major system components are probably the same. Yeah. So right now it's uh, so it's ca it came back and it's um, installing continuing its oh, okay, okay. Uh, prerequisite install. So I think uh, okay. yeah, it was it was a part of the IIS the web application role mm -hmm. um, that it did the reboot for. Okay, and now it's downloading SQL Server SP. It's a client. Okay, okay, just a client. So a bunch of components are being installed right now. So, so th this is a prerequisite. The next one is actually actual SharePoint install. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. And uh, so, from from a prerequisite standpoint, uh, those are all uh, individual components available as well. In case you wanted to do a, a sort of an install of individual. Yeah. Items. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but basically, as lo if you know, like you know, what roles you need to set yeah. for the server, what kind of uh, dependencies it has on ASP.NET, uh, IIS, things like that, and as long as you enable all of those, right, um, it's it's a simple install. Okay. Okay. And then, so you mentioned that there are some gotcha with the web office web applications. Yes, so my original intent was to install web applications. Now everyone knows that uh, your Excel services, your access services are no longer uh, services as a part of uh, SharePoint server. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been extracted out and uh, they now reside on their own independent server, which mm -hmm. is now called the Office Web App Server. Right. Um, so if you want to take advantage of um, uh, you know, Excel services continuing in 2013, then you need to, you know, install Office Web App Server. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the gotchas uh, with Office Web App Servers is that it cannot um, co-reside on the same server as SharePoint 2013. Right. So in that case, you need a separate server install, which will basically host all your Office Web Apps, which includes Word, Excel, Access, um, PowerPoint. Right, right. Um, which is probably better because if you're thinking in a corporate scenario, right, like if you wanted to scale web apps and have, have them available, you know, you know, a bunch of people are accessing them, that's pretty heavy load yeah. on, on the web apps. Yeah. So having to scale that component, you would have to actually scale the application server, yeah. which not necessarily is, is the case. Yeah. All right. So installation complete. Yeah. There is a restart pending at this point, so we will have to do another restart. All right, let's do another restart. And now we know how to do that. All right, so we're back again <laughs> for another reboot. And uh, so is that, is that, that, that it, that's it, right? That now, is now it. we can finally install SharePoint. Yes. yes. Uh, so that wasn't so bad. That was like, what, five minutes or something? Yeah, to install the prerequisites mm. and then um, Okay, so let's launch this guy. And and the actual so there okay. So yeah. Step number go. two, okay, great. Uh we are gonna need um the SharePoint uh, release candidate key. And where would people get that? Uh when you download it it emails okay. you the key. Oh okay. Yeah. So there you cool. go, there's the product key. Needed. I have it on my desktop. It's the same key for everyone, right? Is it? I am not sure. Okay. Okay. Well, you get your own key when you know yes. when you install it. <laughs> yeah. So it's free. So there you go. There it says um, it's going to install SQL Server 2008 mm -hmm. R2 Express. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that standalone. If I do a standalone, right. 
That's kind of the same process. Yes, and it's pretty simple, um, hands off. Uh, it's gonna do its install, and then we're gonna be presented with the configuration wizard, just like SharePoint 2010. Okay. Well, maybe we'll we'll take a look at that process in a separate uh, in a separate little video. Sure. Uh, the actual configuration, but but yeah, let's see how it yeah. installs and brings up the configuration wizard, so folks can see that. You know, it's pretty straightforward, and then we'll have another one where we actually yeah. take a look at it. Especially in the express version, it's not um, that difficult because then you don't have to provide SQL Server details or any of that because it right. installs SQL Server right. as a part of the installation or any of the accounts. So yeah. basically, as a part of the configuration, all you're doing is setting up. Um, like letting it run through, so you just mm -hmm. click okay, set up, and then it just goes through and does all its process, creates the database tables, right. everything, all the dependencies, and then presents you with um, the presents you with the screen where you select what kind of a site collection it's gonna be. Right. Okay. Yeah. Pretty pretty much like a previous version. Yeah. Right. So, um, and th and that's really all we need for something like a development machine setup, right? We don't need anything. You know, we definitely, I mean, for larger development shops, you want to join into the development domain and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. for uh, just to try things out, and that's really what the preview is about, right? Yeah. Trying things out. So there's one thing um, that's that's basically. So what are we never talked about system requirements? What are the system requirements? There's some misconceptions around system requirements around this thing. Um, so from a hardware perspective, I haven't really gone through in detail on a production server, but I think on um, on on a, on the VM that we set up, we put in like um, four gigs of RAM and um, oh really? Wow, this is running yeah. on four gigs of RAM. Yes. Wow. So four gigs of RAM, um, say around. I I have four processors, so I put all four processors at work. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I think the virtual hard drive that we attached, which was which came for um, for Windows Server 2012, mm -hmm. gave itself I think um, 200 gigs okay. of disk space. Okay. Okay, that's so, not too bad at all. So I assume it's pretty much like 2010 used to be, right? Yeah. So you can assume that production is probably going to be the same. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it is probably things like Office Web applications are now running separately, right? So. Yeah. You know, things like that, so you can spread out the load a little bit. Makes sense, yeah. makes sense. So it looks like we're close to finish here. Let me see, did it give, how much, how much disk space did it give itself? I think I might, no, 40 gigs. 40 gigs. 40 gigs. Okay, yeah, well space. that's, that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. reasonable, yeah. right? Yeah. Nothing reasonable. like, wow, yeah. okay. So, um, so what's next on the agenda? So once we have this installed, we're going to probably have another video on how we're going to, um, you know, kind of uh, do some basic, basic yeah. configuration, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, to have to give some idea of to folks about other things, yeah. and uh, and then you know we'll get into the actual um, exploring the system and uh, from inside out and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeing those all those are going to be fun videos. Yes, there's a lot. So there's a lot more coming in the, in the next few uh, <laughs> months, <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah. So this is almost ra wrapping up. Okay, All so right, there so we there go. We uh, we've completed the installation and now we're talking about running the wizard, yeah. which we said we're not going to run now. We're going to have another video. Well, let's, let's click close and see if, if it... Uh, it will launch the wizard. Will, how, is this a web-based wizard? No. Oh, okay. So wizard. That's 2010. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit. Yeah. All right, well... We'll have another video for that and yes. see if there's any gotchas with that. Um, Rios, thanks very much for putting this together. We'll, Thank uh, you. we'll be looking forward to the next, uh, <laughs> maybe tomorrow, we'll, we'll do another one uh, to, to go through the steps uh, of the wizard and actually see the web page open. Mm -hmm. um, so, how can people reach you on, uh, online? People can uh, email me at rlakhani at knowledgetech.ca. Awesome. And we'll any questions, yeah, feel free. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll Take see care. you next time. Bye.